Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have been discussing NEET PG based MCQs from community medicine subject over the past few days. Today I have come up with another MCQ. So without wasting much time, let's get started quickly with the discussion. So the question is, which of the following is not used in the calculation of global hunger index? Options are undernourishment, infant mortality rate, child underweight, child mortality. So to answer this question, you must know what is global hunger index. So let's see what is global hunger index. Global hunger index is a tool which is designed to measure and track hunger globally. Now this will be calculated every year by the International Food Policy Research Institute in order to assess the progress and the setbacks in combating hunger. So this will also help us to compare the hunger levels between various countries so that more attention can be paid towards countries having higher hunger levels. Now the main importance of global hunger index is that it helps to track the progress towards achievement of SDG goal 2. What is this? This is sustainable development Goal number two, which is achievement of zero hunger by 2030. All right. So global hunger index helps to track the progress towards achievement of SDG goal number two, zero hunger by 2030. Now global hunger index has got three dimensions. They are inadequate food supply, child undernutrition and child mortality. So these three dimensions have got four indicators. First one is undernourishment, second is wasting, third is stunting and the fourth is under five mortality rate. Now what is undernourishment? Undernourishment refers to percentage of population who are undernourished. So this can include both children as well as adults. So people with insufficient calorie intake. So that is about undernourishment which is the indicator for the first dimension inadequate food supply. Now second is wasting. So wasting refers to Percentage of children less than 5 years of age. Okay, less than 5 years of age with low weight for height. So, which is reflecting acute undernutrition. Okay, and stunting is children with less than 5 years of age with low height for age. It is reflecting chronic undernutrition. So, these two components are reflecting child undernutrition. Okay, so the Second dimension, child undernutrition has got two indicators. One is wasting, another one is stunting. Okay. And the fourth indicator is under 5 mortality rate. So it is the indicator for the third dimension which is child mortality. So it refers to mortality rate of children less than 5 years of age. So this can reflect both unhealthy environment as well as inadequate food supply. Now each of these dimensions will contribute one third in the calculation of global hunger index. Now this is a summary of what I have discussed in the previous slide. The three dimensions, inadequate food supply, child undernutrition, child mortality, their indicators. First dimension inadequate food supply indicator is undernourishment. So it refers to percentage of population undernourished. What does it reflect? It reflects percentage of people with insufficient calorie intake. So it contributes one third in the calculation of the global hunger index. The second dimension was child undernutrition. So this has got two components. One is wasting, another one is stunting. So there are two indicators. So wasting refers to percentage of children less than 5 years of age with low weight for height which is reflecting under nutrition acute under nutrition and stunting is percentage of children less than 5 years of age with low height for age which is reflecting chronic under nutrition so both acute and chronic components have been included under child under nutrition and each of these two components will be contributing one six so on the whole child under nutrition will be contributing one third in the calculation of GHI and the third indicator is child mortality I mean third dimension is child mortality and the indicator is under 5 mortality rate so which refers to mortality rate of children less than 5 years of age 
and it reflects inadequate food intake as well as unhealthy environment so this contributes to one third in the calculation of global hunger index now let's see how to calculate global hunger index now global hunger index is calculated as 1 by 3 into standardized proportion of undernourished population plus 1 by 6 into standardized child wasting plus 1 by 6 into standardized child stunting plus 1 by 3 into standardized child mortality okay so all the four components have been taken into account and this 1 by 3 1 by 6 we have discussed in the previous slide so for undernourishment it is 1 by 3 okay contributing level so for wasting it is 1 by 6 stunting 1 by 6 and child mortality it is 1 by 3 now what is the standardized so standardized values will be first calculated before substituting in this formula so standardized values for every indicator for undernourishment wasting stunting and for mortality will be first calculated how it will be calculated by taking a threshold value which is slightly higher than the actual observed maximum value for every country say for example in a country the proportion of undernourished population was 76 which is the maximum observed value for that country all right now the threshold will be taken as 80% which is slightly higher than the actually observed maximum value for that country now this 80% will be used in the calculation for the standardized proportion of undernourished population same way for every other indicator also it will be calculated standardized values will be calculated and then it will be substituted in the formula for the calculation of ghi so once the ghi scores are calculated it will be observed on a 100 point scale so a score of 0 is the best score and the score of 100 is the worst score so score of 0 means no hunger that no one in the country is undernourished or no child is wasted or stunted and a score of 100 is the worst score where every one in the country will be undernourished or every child is stunted and wasted all right so we have a ghi severity scale which will start from low to extremely alarming so scores towards 0 will be better and scores towards 100 will be extremely worst so it ranges from less than 9.9 which is taken as low then from 10 to 19.9 is moderate 20 to 34.9 is taken as serious and 35 to 49.9 is alarming and more than 50 is taken as extremely alarming now based on 2021 data india ranks 101 among 116 countries which are having sufficient data to calculate ghi okay and the score of india was 27.5 now 27.5 so india has got a serious level of hunger with that i think you must have got enough information on global hunger index now we'll come back to the mcq the question is asking which of the following is not used in the calculation of global hunger index so we know that it has got three dimensions inadequate food supply child undernutrition and child mortality so option c and d are ruled out so where child underweight is nothing but child undernutrition d is child mortality and option a undernourishment so dimension inadequate food supply indicator is undernourishment so option a is also ruled out so answer to this question is infant mortality rate which is not used in the calculation of global hunger index under 5 mortality rate is used in the calculation so answer to this question is option b infant mortality rate with that i think you must be clear with this mcq if you find these videos interesting and useful please do consider hitting the like button and comment below for more such videos thank you